The International Robotics Exhibition, or IREX, is the largest robotics trade show in the world with more than 300 exhibitors and more than 100,000 visitors. The exhibition brings together the top robot makers in the world and the businesses that work with them. To be more specific, the IREX 2022 gave 600 businesses and organizations from all over the world a chance to show off their latest robotic creations. Some of the things that the exhibitors make are robots, robot parts, networks, simulation systems, and vision systems. IREX 2022 was held later this year from March 9th to 12th at the Tokyo Big Site Exhibition Hall in Japan. At this large site trade show in Tokyo, there were all kinds of robots, from humanoid and bio-inspired robots to different kinds of industrial robots. In this video, we are going to show you everything you need to know about the biggest robot exhibition in Japan. Let's get started. The slogan for this year's event was the way towards a friendlier society, bridged by robots. Like past slogans, people believe it was made by an AI that learned from every other Japanese trade show slogan ever made. Industrial Robot Zones and Service Robot Zones were the two parts of the expo. Industrial robots include personal robots, space robots, farming robots, and cleaning robots. Service robots, on the other hand, have arms that can weld and rivet. And aside from all of these, massive fighting robots were exhibited as well. From here, we are going to look at some of the most noteworthy robots seen in the exhibition. Number 1. Kaleida since 2015, a team at Kawasaki Heavy Industries has been working on a robot humanoid platform called Kaleida. It is a massive robot that weighs 80 kilograms and is meant to replace humans in manual labor situations in the future. Even though most people in the West know Kawasaki as a motorcycle maker, the company has been around for 125 years and is a multidisciplinary, multinational powerhouse. Kawasaki Heavy Industries has a lot of experience in mass-producing industrial robots and in 2020, Kawasaki has made more than $15 billion in sales from a wide range of industries such as aerospace, rail, shipbuilding, energy, industrial, environmental, and infrastructure. At IREX, the team showed off the seventh generation of Kaleida. According to Noboru Takagi, the general manager of Kawasaki's robot division, it is now possible to do actual work in a work site with a combination of autonomous operation and remote control. Practical application is only one step away. As of now, the robot did its best to entertain everyone at the event. Kaleida walked onto the stage with two human team members holding tether ropes. It then did a couple of stilted dance steps before moving up onto a balance beam, stepping down off the other side, pausing for loud cheers, then turning around, walking back across the beam, and waving goodbye. A very amusing display. In a later demonstration, Kaleido was tied in the air while an 8-minute extended version of Bon Jovi's It's My Life played in the background. The robot revealed that it could grab steel bars, hit them with its fists, and give the girls a very cool, but very slow, thumbs up. Quite charming. Number 2. Friends Similarly created by Kawasaki, Friends is a smaller, 55 kilograms robot. Friends based on Kaleida. It is meant to be safe for working with and being around people. Kawasaki believes that this is the kind of robot that people, especially the elderly, may end up living with as Japan's population ages quickly and more people become isolated and in need of help with personal care. Friends performed on stage twice. On its first appearance, it did some gentle motion captured dancing. During the second time, it pushed a wheelchair around a very patient grandma dummy with a wobbly head. In four minutes, it was able to move about five meters. It then turned around, kissed Granny on the head, and pushed her back out the gate. Number 3. Bex Yet again from Kawasaki, Bex is a robot that looks like an Ibex and can be ridden. The robot Bex made its first appearance at the 2022 IREX in Tokyo. It was made by Kawasaki's robot program, Kaleida. Midway through the project, the engineers at Kawasaki decided to make a robot that could move quickly on both flat and rough ground. Bex was created in an effort to make a robust humanoid platform in the Kaleida project. 
This program has mostly made robots with two legs and resemble humans. Bex, on the other hand, can bounce on its four legs or roll forward on two wheels set into the ground when it bends on its knees. At the exhibition, an engineer got on Bex and rode her around in circles like a pony. With flashing lights going up and down its neck and antlers, the robot from the Kawasaki team shines more than many of its competitors. Bex has wheels on its knees, which lets it move faster on smooth surfaces than when it walks. About 220 pounds of cargo can fit on Bex. In addition to moving building materials, Kawasaki wants it to do remote inspections of industrial sites, like what the robot spot does at Hyundai factories in Korea. Number 4. Forpheus Omron Corporation showed off the Forpheus robot at the show. Forpheus is a robot that plays table tennis. It can add a player's face, body movements, and heart rate. The robot can also judge how well it is doing and figure out how fast the racket is moving. Its accuracy is very high. Apparently, Omron created the robot to show how people and machines can work together in the future. Number 5. The HRP-4 Robot The HRP-4 robot made by Kawada Industries was another highlight of the show. The HRP-4 robot is smaller and lighter than the HRP models that came before it. This robot only weighs 86 pounds and can stand on one leg, recognize objects and human faces, and pose in response to voice commands. With a height of 5 feet and 34 moving joints, each arm can lift up to 1 pound of weight. Most of the time, the humanoid robot is used for advertising and working with people. Number 6. Gnocchi Gnocchi is a service robot with a digital face and a flat screen, a long arm, and a neck with a vacuum cleaner on its base. It can move around like a person and use its arms to do various things. The service robot can bring food and packages to customers. It can also deliver medicines and luggage. Gnocchi has a light and sight sensor that lets it understand and see what's going on around it. Using a remote control system, the robot can be taught new skills and movements to work in its environment. Number 7. TMAI Plus Collaborative robotics company Tigman Robot made a successful return to IREX, showing how humans and robots can work together to create various things. Tigman Robot made TMAI Plus, which is an AI vision solution. It is software that can be used on its own or with the built-in vision system of TM Robot, which has become an intelligent collaborative robot with AI recognition. TM AI Plus is the first robotic system in the Cobot industry to combine traditional machine vision and advanced AI vision into a single system. It can help solve problems like visual recognition, barcode reading, optical character recognition, OCR, image classification, and assembly. It is currently used to check the quality of cars made in Japan, as well as to identify products in pizza and fried chicken chains. In short, TMAI Plus can be used in a lot of different fields, from cars to food. That being said, an upcoming, upgraded TM Robot S series is said to be available soon. This new series will have many hardware and software improvements, better integration with vision and peripheral applications, and a more intuitive human-machine interface. It is made to be easier and safer for people and machines to work together, so it can be used in a wide range of industrial settings and is ready to meet your smart manufacturing needs. Ultimately, the exhibition was a way for people all over the world to be updated about the current robot technologies and development. Businesses from all over the world shared ideas and new inventions that humans can use in the future. Which invention did you like the most? Were you impressed by this Japanese robot exhibition? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing robotic content. We'll see you in the next video.